Does it make you tired, or how does it make you feel after you've had the procedure? Um, it's a little bit of pain in me. Um, my face will be puffy. A little bit of pain and a puffy face is what seven-year-old Abigail Lobsinger remembers about her recent cancer treatment. Treatment that uh, we're giving is a humanized antibody against a marker on the surface of particular cancer cells. She received a new human antibody therapy that no one else in Canada has ever done. So it's a little bit scary um, thinking that she's the first child here to receive it, um, but we're very comfortable with our doctors at SickKids and we're just very hopeful that this is going to going to work. This has been a four-year battle for Abigail, diagnosed with neuroblastoma when she was three years old. Abigail became a candidate basically because they're running out of options for treatment for her and her type of cancer. This is her string of bravery beads, one for every procedure she's undergone. Abigail's bravery beads are nearly 38 feet long. It's hard to go through. Mm -hmm. Not only have the past treatments, including chemotherapy, been hard to go through, but this current human antibody treatment can be very painful as well. The antibody also reacts against nerve fibers, and that means that patients receiving these antibody treatments do get quite severe pain. We know that that can be a problem, we prevent that with uh, strong painkillers. But on the positive side, there are no difficult side effects that are often seen with chemotherapy. Well, she's amazing. She is hands down the strongest person I've ever met in my life. Um, she's seven years old. She spent almost two calendar years in the hospital, three Christmases, four Halloweens, you know, birthdays of her, her sisters, family. There's not a special occasion that hasn't occurred in the past four years that hasn't been celebrated in a hospital. There is nobody I've ever met in my life that is stronger than her. And she will have to remain strong. Following this treatment, there's a four-week break before she gets her next treatment, and so on and so on. Depending on results, Abigail could require up to 15 treatments. This young, brave girl says since she's the first, there's only one thing she can do. You would have to try to stay calm about it. And so it could be up to two years before Abigail is finished these new treatments. There is a GoFundMe in place to help with ongoing cost. To help, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Waterloo, Audra Brown, City News.